John, I love this illustration that you have in the book about the bad behavior that some Christians have exhibited, and you put it into the proper per- perspective. The illustration involves playing a cello. Can you explain this illustration? Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, a simple case of, you know, imagining or calling up on Spotify, if you can't imagine, a Bach's cello suite, right? And the opening prelude in the key of G is often regarded by you know, musical boffins as, as one of the most mathematically perfect uh, pieces of music, the way it moves away from uh, the, the the G and creates a tension and then comes back and this glorious resolution. Um, and and you, if you hear Yo-Yo Ma <laughs> play it, the, you know perhaps the greatest uh, cellist, um, it's it you know you you're hearing it in all its glory and you can you can tell how beautiful it is. But if you hear me play it. <laughs> and I have had two <laughs> cello lessons. Uh, if you hear me play the cello suite, um, I can get past the first bar before I am undone. <laughs> and and you might listen to me attempt the cello suite and think, um, was that, you know, could Bach actually write a tune? Because that sounds <laughs> terrible, right? Um, but, of course, we know to distinguish between the original composition and the terrible performance. And my point is obvious. I mean... The composition Jesus wrote uh, is the most sublime uh, ever composed. Love your enemies, something he took all the way to the cross as he gave his life for enemies. And um, then Christians, you know, who are inspired by that gospel, who know they are loved by God and then they try and love others, they do it failingly. Their performance is sometimes way off key. They're, they're way out of the G. They stay in the tension area. Mm-hmm. Um, and yet throughout Christian history, there are prophets, you know, um, you, you could call them prophets, but, you know, Christian leaders who rise up and say, hey, no, we need to get back to the original tune. And they they drag it back to the key of G and, it's, and it sounds beautiful. But my, my point is you've got to distinguish between the performance of Christians and the original beautiful tune of Jesus.